Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Haley. And we're the co-class presidents, uncontested election, so. <laughs> Next, I'll be presenting the 2016 Dean's Award for Excellence in Service to Stanford Law School. I first got to know this individual during our time serving as co-presidents of Stanford Law Association, the law school student government. Immediately, it was apparent to me of his uncanny ability to foster community within our class, as best demonstrated by his creation of the jury box, a lounge space specifically de dedicated to students. Moreover, he spent endless time nurturing the public interest in criminal law communities, pushing students beyond the classroom and into the community at large. Through his work in the prosecution clinic, three strikes program, and countless other organizations, he prioritized pro bono work and even got one of his clients, who was serving life, out of prison. Although I've only known him for three out of his seven years here at Stanford, I can undoubtedly say he has made an indelible impact on Stanford, his classmates, and the Bay Area community. Without further ado, I am proud to present the 2016 Dean's Award for Excellence in Service to Stanford Law School to Marcus Burasaw. It is an incredibly humbling honor to get any sort of recognition among so many people who have inspired me over the last three years. I wanted to use this opportunity to talk for a moment about someone uh, who I admire, who, although dedicating her life to public service, never earned this sort of recognition. Like so many millions of public servants, she worked in whatever way she could to support those around her without any expectation of status or accolade. My mother, Tina Burrisaw, taught me what it means to give to those around you. And I'll give one example. When I was an undergrad here at Stanford, the first four years, my mother was approaching 60 years old. She was unemployed. She worked between a hostess job at Denny's and cleaning hotel rooms. And she had very little. But she still found space in her life to support those who she knew needed help. Literal space, sometimes. On one occasion, she welcomed a homeless stranger into her home, into the spare room, my room. This man was someone who we would ordinarily probably fear. He was a stranger to her. He was finishing a two-year prison sentence for a crime I never knew. And he had no place else to go. And my mother, with so little, found a space for him. He stayed in her home for three months while he got his feet back underneath him. And I didn't learn about it until about six months later. And at the time, I thought maybe my mother thought I'd be mad that she'd given away my bedroom. But I think in retrospect, what really was happening was my mother was showing me her, through her example that that was an everyday kindness, not noteworthy, not worthy of anyone paying attention to, not worthy of any sort of recognition, because we should make a habit of service to those in need. I want to thank her for the example she set to me in her life. I want to thank you all for this incredible recognition. I know that my service to Stanford Law School pales in comparison to the work of so many others. I want to thank my wife, Angela Burrisaw, as we, as we prepare to welcome our own first child into the world this fall. I hope that he will have examples in his life like I've had in mind. However we came here, we are all leaving here exceptionally well-trained, exceptionally skilled, 
exceptionally well-connected and powerful. And I hope that we use that privilege to fearlessly welcome others into our lives and support them. Thank you.